The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To solve for x in each proportion, we simply use the means extremes property. So in part a, since 5 over 4 equals x over 12, we know that the product of the extremes, 5 times 12, equals the product of the means, 4 times x. So we have 5 times 12, or 60, equals 4 times x, or 4x. And dividing both sides by 4, 15 equals x. In part b, the product of the extremes, x minus 5 times 3, or 3 times x minus 5, equals the product of the means, x plus 4 times 2, or 2 times x plus 4. Notice that we put the x minus 5 and the x plus 4 in parentheses. Now distributing on both sides of the equation, we have 3x minus 15 equals 2x plus 8. And subtracting 2x from both sides gives us x minus 15 equals 8. And adding 15 to both sides, we find that x equals 23. Finally, it's a good idea to check the answer in these types of problems. For example, if we plug a 23 back in for the x in part b, we have 23 minus 5 over 23 plus 4 equals 2 thirds, or 18 over 27 equals 2 thirds, and 18 over 27 equals 2 thirds is a true statement because 18 over 27 reduces to 2 thirds. So our answer checks.